Hello, folks, and uh, welcome to another edition of the Dr. Mark Foster Show. Um, today, I'm going to be speaking about a different topic, uh, also related to the Baha'i faith. This one is um, on what I see as a uh, confluence or, or a juxtaposition or a meeting between... Um, critical realism as developed by the late University of London philosopher Roy Bhaskar and the teachings of the Baha'i faith as I understand them. And the two basic concepts I will outline here are virtues or spirit on one side and the cosmic envelope on the other. Virtues or spirit is a concept which is mentioned on many occasions in the writings of the Baha'i Faith. The cosmic envelope is referred to by Roy Bhaskar um, in Critical Realism. Uh, he also calls it non-duality, the ground state and co-presence. All of those terms mean roughly the same thing. I prefer the term cosmic envelope because I just think it sounds more poetic. Um, in my view, when you're talking about spirit, there are not different spirits. There are degrees of spirit. There is a mineral spirit, a vegetable spirit, an animal spirit, a human spirit, and the Holy Spirit. But they aren't multiple. Um, I don't have a different human spirit than you. I don't have a different spirit of faith than other Baha'is. It's just one spirit. When it comes to the mineral spirit, it's the same basic idea. There is one mineral spirit. It is the spirit of cohesion. And that mineral spirit exists um, for all minerals. Not, it, In other words, it is a universal condition not a particular one. In the same way, the human spirit and the spirit of faith are universal conditions, not particular conditions. The vegetable spirit, the power of growth, same thing, universal. And the animal spirit, the power of sensation, the same thing. All of these these, these uh, things that we call spirit are all degrees. They are degrees of virtues or names and attributes of God, to my understanding. And we are all recipients of those names and attributes of God. We all share in them. Uh, we all take part in them. And um, we all have access to them. When we grow spiritually, we grow spiritually by, um, by incorporating more of the spirit of faith into our lives. But the human spirit is not something external to us. It is who we are. It is, it is the, the inner reality of of our existence, of our spiritual lives. It is eternal life, the power of faith, or just faith, same thing. Um, as um, uh, the Apostle James said, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Faith is is a substance. It is It is a literal substance. It is a spiritual substance. 
and it is a substance or a spirit that we all can access through prayer, through meditation, through studying the Word of God, and by engaging in selfless service for humanity. In this time of the rise of COVID-19, I am trying to find ways to be of service that um, would, would fit the kind of uh, um, stay-at-home order, kind of, or recommendation that's been given out where I live and in many other parts of the United States and in the world. And one of the ways I'm doing that is by making these, uh, by, by returning to the podcasts, which as I checked, was actually longer ago than I thought. The last one that I gave before the ones I made yesterday was actually five years ago. Getting back to the subject, Roy Baskar, a wonderful human being and the founder of the English School of Critical Realism, spoke about the cosmic envelope or co-presence or non-duality or or, or um, the uh, the condition of um, of oneness or uh, union with all things. Roy was a wonderful soul. Died about five years ago at 70 years old. He had some long-standing health conditions, basically a degenerative muscular disease which at one point led to the amputation of one of his feet. So either he walked uh, with two canes or he was um, wheeled around uh, by our mutual friend Mervyn Hartwig. But he was a wonderful soul. And in the last 12 years of his life, uh, Roy, who, like me, uh, was a libertarian communist, traveled to India, the land of his father. Roy himself was born and raised in London. His mother was English. His father was from India. But he traveled to India to discover that part of his heritage. And when he was in India, he met with various spiritual teachers. I'm not sure exactly who. He never actually said in anything I read which specific spiritual teachers he met, but he met with a variety of them. And he came up with this concept of the cosmic envelope, um, non-duality, co-presence, the ground state, all names for the same basic thing. And um, he said that we are all a part of that. Demi-reality, a term that Roy also used, was a reference to a condition in which there is an absence of the cosmic envelope. And Roy was very deeply dismayed by the fact that the world that we are living in today is a world which appears to be dominated more by demi-reality than by the cosmic envelope. And Roy was somewhat pessimistic about the future. He felt as though uh, we needed to make that transition. Uh, The example I sometimes give to my students of this is of being in a room where there are loads of obstacles laying on the floor, maybe some improvised explosive devices, maybe hand grenades, maybe trap doors, all sorts of, of uh, uh, things, things on the floor that could lead to injury or even death. And um, if one is in a room like that, one's ultimate objective would be to get out of that room. That's demi-reality. That's the world that we are in right now, the condition that we are in right now. And so Roy felt as though we needed to leave that room 
and go into this condition of co-presence, which is unity, indifference, or virtuousness, um, a condition of, of pure love, pure devotion, pure oneness. Now, Roy himself, uh, when he was in India, became an Advaitic Hindu of sorts, although he never actually joined any organization, but he was an Advaitist. Uh, the word Advaita in Sanskrit means non-duality. Um, the, the prefix A is non, and Dvaita is duality or dualism. Uh, there's also a Dvaita school in Hinduism, uh, which is a school of duality. But Roy was very much of a uh, of a uh, non-dualist, of, of an Advaitist. And um, Advaitism was started by a, um, a Hindu saint named Shankara, who I think was a great man. Now myself, I am kind of a mixture of Advaita and Dvaita, which is actually called Advaita Dvaita. Uh, there's also uh, Lord Chaitanya, um, who is probably best known as the inspiration for the Hare Krishna movement, and um, he also believed in a kind of mingling of duality and non-duality. But um, to me, those concepts, the cosmic envelope and virtuousness or spirit, are roughly the same. Obviously not exactly the same because you're talking about formulations made in different contexts, but I think they refer to roughly the same condition. In other words, the idea is there are not multiple cosmic envelopes. There are not multiple co-presences. There are not multiple ground states. There's only one cosmic envelope. There is only one condition of virtuousness. There is only one spirit. There is only one spirit which is that virtuousness that we are made of and that we grow by acquiring more and more of that spirit and incorporating it into our lives. And the best thing that we can do in this world, which is a preparatory condition for life in the world to come, is to incorporate more of that spirit, that cosmic envelope into our lives. In other words, to become spiritual beings. So that is my view, that, um, that we are living in a world of one spirit, not multiple spirits, that we are living in a world of one cosmic envelope, not multiple cosmic envelopes. And, and so I, I would recommend um, first to Baha'is that Baha'is consider looking into critical realism. I think there is a lot of uh, symmetry, a lot of commonality between the Baha'i faith and critical realism. Critical realism is my basic perspective as a sociologist, or more particularly as a social theorist and a sociologist of religion. And I would also recommend to critical realists that they look into the Baha'i faith. The Baha'i faith is a wonderful faith. I think it is very much in harmony with critical realism with the ideas expressed by Roy Bhaskar. Um, I think a, a combination of those two, uh, critical realism as a philosophy, as a meta theory, and the Baha'i faith as a religion, as a religion of peace, of unity, can be very beneficial. So that concludes this podcast, and I will see you on the other side.